So next rewards have been announced pretty much yesterday now. Cons of living in Australia and doing news on RuneScape. Before we start, also, can we talk about this? I know that this is what Next looked like, but I also know I'm not the only one who thinks it kind of looks silly. They do say on the blog that it's a work in progress. I don't know if they mean the Next design or just everything in the picture. Take that for what it is. And also, it's just a personal opinion as well. Kind of looks like a massive chicken. Anyway, starting off, Next is able to be taken on with 80 players at once, which is actually insane. Seems Seems like Nex is definitely bringing back the MMO in old school RuneScape, so that is a good thing for sure. They do say it's likely that you won't be able to solo Nex as well, and some people aren't happy about that, but I actually think it's probably a good thing. I like the idea of an MMO having group-based content, just kind of makes sense. But I do think there is a need for solo content, so works both ways. I'm going to skip over the lore, but if you want to read more about that, I'll leave a link to the blog in the description below. But I will quickly run over how to get to Nex. Nex is obviously located in the God Wars dungeon, and to actually get through the door, you need to have completed Desert Treasure. The next bit runs over the essence that you need to get into the boss's lair, and how you can bypass this by getting an a cannot say that word, key, and also how the essence count is lowered by doing the combat achievement tiers. So while you're in the prison before you enter the boss's lair, you will take on spiritual warriors, spiritual rangers, and spiritual mages, and blood reavers. Like with the other bosses in God Wars Dungeon, defeating these add to your ancient essence count, and you need an essence count of 40 to enter the boss's chamber. All right, with all that out of the way, let's get to the rewards. The first one is the ancient god sword, obviously working the same same way as other god swords, next will drop an ancient hilt and you can make it the usual way. The ancient god sword will have a special attack called blood sacrifice. It costs 50% energy and it targets a single individual with double the usual accuracy. If the special attack hits, it deals a normal hit with 10% extra damage. In addition, an eight cycle timer starts. And if the target doesn't move more than five tiles away before the timer ends, they'll be hit for 20 damage and the attacker will be healed for the same amount. This special attack actually sounds really sick. It seems to feel like a PvP and a PvM sword, so it kind of feels all shoes there. The next reward is the Zarite Bow. Requiring 80 range, this tradable non-degrading bow can fire all arrows up to dragon. Uh, the Zarite Bow also has a special effect that uses charges. In multi-way areas, an additional target stood within two tiles of the main target is also hit, and that doesn't use an additional arrow, it just uses a single charge. The Zarite Bow can be recharged using Nihil shards, which are dropped by all foes in the prison, including Nex. So the bow itself seems quite niche, but I'm sure players will find a use for it. I actually like the idea of like chain damage effects. It seems pretty cool, but yeah, definitely a niche weapon. So I'm going to leave these screenshots up on the screen and you can pause if you want to read them. So the first image will be the Zarite Bow's DPS on single targets. And this is in comparison to other range weapons. And the second image that will pop up will be on multiple targets. So pause the screen and you can read them if you want. So the next thing I will discuss is the Zarite Van Braces. These are essentially an upgrade for the range glove slots, finally. So the these require 80 range and 50 defense to use. They are tradable and they do not degrade. So now let's go back to the bow for a second. If you are wearing the Zarite Van Braces while using the Zarite Bow, the special effect will then hit two more additional targets. This is only still using a single charge. So they work in conjunction with each other, which is pretty cool. And now probably the most controversial reward from Nex, which is Virtus Armor. Virtus is a magic armor set consisting of the mask, top, and legs. It requires 75 defense and 80 magic to wield, and none of these pieces are degradable, and they are tradable. Each item gives a 3% damage increase to all ancient spells, so it will be 9% if all three are worn. And if you're wearing the whole set as well, smoke spells reduce healing by 30% while the target is poisoned, and shadow spells also drain strength, range, magic and defense as well as attack. And additionally, wear all three and blood spells can heal up to 20% of the player's max HP, while ice spells have 10% additional accuracy against frozen targets. That was a mouthful. Honestly, I kind of wish we got Torva. Bandos has been best in slot forever. All the other stuff we've got is niche gear. And I think it's time that Bandos gets kicked out of the best in slot and we get something else new in. And in my opinion, same with 
with Armadil, but we don't know what the old school team has planned for those items as well. Maybe they're thinking of making like extensions for those items, like for example, D-Boots becoming primordials, so they don't just become completely unused. Or well, maybe not completely unused, but you get what I mean. I will say though, I can't actually afford Ancestral, so I'm hoping Virtus Armor is just that little bit cheaper. Then I can stop wearing Arams and people can stop picking on me. So obviously there's some smaller unique drops like the Nihil Shards, which is used to obviously charge your uh, Zarite bow, but they can also be crushed to make an Hill Dust, which is a secondary ingredient to the new Ancient Brew potions. So these potions are a combination of Nihil Dust and a Dwarf Weed. It requires 85 Herblore to make, giving 190 Herblore XP. When consumed, the Primordial Concoction boosts magic by 5% plus 2 uh, what? It boosts magic 5% plus 2. It restores prayer 10% plus 2, with the ability to boost up to 5% over the player's base prayer level. However, it also drains attack, strength, and defense by 10% plus two. So think before you drink. Uh, there's the Blood Essence. These have had the most like confusion around them. So let me try and get this correct. If a player creates a Blood Rune with an activated Blood Essence in their inventory, the player has a chance to create additional Blood Runes at a rate of 1000 additional Blood Runes slash charges per essence. This will result in a slightly fewer XP per hour as the Blood Essence will take up inventory slots that you'd otherwise be using for more Dark Essence. But it will greatly increase your runes per hour if you consistently have a Blood Essence active. Therefore, I guess more GP per hour. We also have the word that I cannot say key. I'm going to give it a go. The Ecumenial... No, Ecumenial... Anyway, we have shards for these keys. So if you gather 50 shards, you can get one key. Uh, you won't be able to convert shards to a key if you already have a cap on keys. Uh, I wonder what the cap is. Uh, and there's one more thing. Next, we'll also drop the ancient ceremonial robes. This consists of a mask, top, legs, gloves, and boots. They have the same stats as monk robes, and they will be added to the collection log. If you're familiar with necks from old, note that wearing them no longer allows the player to bypass the essence count required to take on necks herself. And that is all from the necks rewards, so please do let me know what you think, uh, especially about the Virtus armor. Do you think that we should have got Torva? Maybe start replacing some of those old best in slot gear sets that we've been using for like forever now, or do you think that this reward is great. Are you happy with all the rewards here? Do you think they're maybe a bit too niche, like nichescape? I've seen people start saying online. As with most things on RuneScape, everyone is just torn between this is good, this is bad. Let me know what you think. We can have a discussion in the comments below. But for now, that is it for this video. If you like the video, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also hit the like button because it greatly helps me out. It also helps my video reach more people. If you watched it the whole way through, thank you so, so much. And thanks for clicking on the video in the first place and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!